The next thing to know about arrays is that they are indexed. Just like with strings, where each string character has a corresponding index, and I can access them one character at a time, the first character, the second, the third, the fourth, and the indices start at zero, the numbering starts at zero. Arrays are just like that. Every item in an array has a corresponding index, and that index is what dictates the order. So if something is index zero, it's at the beginning. If something is index one, it is the second item. And just like with strings, arrays also have a length property. So here is a colors array I've made with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And if I look at colors.length, it has seven items. And we use the exact same syntax to access individual items from the array that we do with a string. So to get the first item, it's colors of zero, just like with a string. Colors of one gives me the second one. Colors of three gives me the fourth one, which is green. And remember, there is no colors of seven. If the length is seven, and we try and access that, colors of seven, we get undefined because the highest index goes up to length minus one. If there's seven items, we start labeling at zero, so this is going to have index of six. So to get the last one, you could do this, colors of colors dot length minus one. And that gives us violet. So that's pretty much it for accessing data out. As long as you have an index and you know the number you're trying to access, you use square brackets after the name of the array. And if you try and access something that is not there, you get undefined just like with a string. String index of one, two, three is also undefined. So that's great. We can access data. We can read it out. Next, we have a lot to talk about as far as modifying arrays. Data changes. How do we add something new, a new comment? Or how do we reorder our playlist so that we have a new song at the beginning? All of that stuff is coming up.